Hello everybody, it's Dilek with Nocta Detectors. Uh, today I would like to give you some updates on a few topics. Uh, this live is not going to be a long one, it's going to be a short one. Uh, okay, first thing I would like to mention is the update tool that we posted a few weeks ago. Uh, now I see a few comments on the update tool and people seem to be a little confused about the version of it. Yes, it's been actually, we updated it because a few people had connection issues uh, with the update tool. So uh, the new version is on our website right now. That's number one. Okay, number two, uh, the Mac version of the update tool is almost ready. Okay, uh, as you know, we asked people to test it for us. And thanks to those who tested the uh, update tool for the Mac version, uh, gave us their feedbacks, and a couple of them had issues updating, and we found the, uh, you know, uh, cause, and the engineers have fixed it now. So we're going to be actually publishing the Mac version of the update tool very soon, okay? Along with that, we're act also going to give... Uh, an update for the threshold volume through the Bluetooth headphones. I know some of you guys uh, are uh, not happy with the threshold volume that you hear through the Bluetooth headphones. And uh, we, prom we have promised you that we were going to give an update for that. That update is ready. Okay. We're only waiting for the translation. Uh, of the text from um, uh, our distributors in different languages to help you guys, okay? Uh, so, in a couple of days, along with the Mac update tool, uh, I mean the update tool for the Mac uh, users, we're also going to be giving the um, threshold volume update, okay? Uh, that's another thing that I wanted to share with you. Now, on a separate subject, speakers. The speakers are in-house, okay? And we actually sent the new speakers to a couple of service centers around the world. Okay, guys? So, if anybody's having an issue with their speaker... And if they were told by their dealer or by their service center to hold off, okay, now uh, in a couple of days, it's time to uh, check back with them, okay, uh, and uh, ask, you know, if they receive the new speaker or not so that they can fix your device, guys, okay? So the new speakers have arrived and we started distributing them to the uh, service centers and dealers so that you know, okay? Uh, let me see what else did, did I want to share with you. Oh, uh, detectable, okay? Uh, I don't know if you guys, if everybody knows or maybe some of you do, some of you don't, but Nocta Detectors this year is the main sponsor of detectable uh, rally in the UK, which is going to happen this weekend. Uh, myself and my team will be there. And um, we also announced something else today for Detectable. Uh, for those who are coming to Detectable, we're going to be giving legends to people there, okay, if they want to try it out on the field. So no test field, guys. No test field. We want you to try it, okay, on the field there and detect with it for two hours. So we're going to have many legends there that we're going to be giving away. But uh, you need to actually come to the Nocta stand if you want to register for one of the uh, time slots. You have to also bring your ID or passport, whatever, uh, because we're going to be giving you the device for two hours. And at the end of Detectable, you know, uh, we're going to have a raffle as well at the Nocta stand, okay, at the Nocta stand, and one lucky user will win the legend from us, okay? So this is the plan for Detectable. Uh, for those who are coming, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. 
And uh, yeah, this is all I wanted to share with you. Now, unless you guys have any questions, uh, I'm gonna say bye. So let me quickly ask you guys if you have any questions. Any questions, anybody? Okay, Steve Ingram, need to stop all the chatter that 109 is causing. Okay, Steve, uh, let, me, let me tell you this. I was in the UK this past weekend, okay? Just this past weekend uh, with a lot of, you know, legend users. They were all on 109, okay? Except for, I think, one. Um, so, and they were all very happy with it. They say the 109 is the best. I don't know where this is coming that people get, you know, like people post these things and say, oh, 109 is chattery. I am, again, underlining the skies. What, we did nothing in the 109 to cause chatter. It just cannot happen. So if you're really having a lot of chatter, okay, number one, it may have something to do with your settings because in the 109, we have a lot of settings, so I don't know where your settings are. And if you cannot figure it out, please contact us, okay, directly, okay? Well, contact me and I'll have my team call you on a video call to see your settings, to hear the chatter, to see what's going on. Maybe you have something wrong with your coil. You know what I mean? But again, guys, I'm underlining this. There is no such issue with the, I mean, let me put it that uh, in a different way. Let me rephrase it. 109 update is the best you can have, period. Okay? And I was just in the UK this past weekend. Uh, you know, one of the best finds at that hunt was made with the legend you're gonna see that in the probably in the searcher magazine in the next issue people are very very happy with it okay we did nothing we gave nothing uh in 109 that's gonna cause the chatter unless you know you're playing around with the extra settings we put there and it's causing the chatter that may be the case or maybe you have something wrong with your coil but contact me I'll have my team video call you to, to you know, uh, see the chatter, to see the settings, okay? Uh, that's all I'm going to say and leave it there. Uh, any other questions, guys? Elliptical coil? It's in the works. It's in the works. Don't ask me when because, uh, as I said many times before, I am done with giving, uh, uh, you know, dates, uh, but we're working on it. Uh, hopefully, uh, before the end of the year, sometime, uh, I cannot give you an exact date. Uh, we should release the elliptical coil. Uh, Simon drew it. Great to meet you at RCM. Many thanks to your team for helping out with my simplex, uh, issue. Shame I wasn't allowed to swap my simplex for your legend. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. It was great. It was great to meet a lot of, you know, people, uh, at the RCM hunt. And it was a great event. Uh, Darren Todd, when is the Legend 2 coming out? I don't know. <laughs> um, mine was quiet with the pod underwater on saltwater beach. Thank you, Geekmaster. Tom Seymour got mine last week. 109, it works great. Thank you so much. Any questions, guys? Any questions that I can answer while I'm online? Uh, okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, at Detectable, the, the, the product is not ready. So don't please get the wrong idea. The product is not ready, but, but we're going to actually show, uh, what the new pinpointer will look like. Just what it's going to look like. Okay. And we're going to tell you the name of the product and we're going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to give some information on the product, but it's, not, uh, you know, it's not close to, you know, finish or the project is not done. Don't get the wrong idea. Okay. But at least I'm going to show the crowd there what it's going to look like. Okay. Um, I just found a beautiful rare 1822 capped bus time this week with the legend. Thank you. Uh, 
Mine was terrible until I installed with the new update tool. Thank you, Darren. Uh, okay, any other questions, guys? Okay, uh, that's it then for today. Um, probably we're going to do a, you know, small live uh, from Detectable. Uh, so maybe you guys can also see the pinpointer, what it looks like, and the name, and all that. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, until then, have legendary hunts and uh, Nocta, I was going to say Nocta Macro. I'm trying to get used to it. Nocta Detectors uh, loves you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.